Magandang umaga Pilipinas. Tayo Recording po ngayon, in progress. Tayo po ay na, ngayon ay nanonood ng tag Reloaded Debunking Lies by Telling the Truth. Ako po ay si Angel Abelia ng NTF Elkak Media Bureau. Ngayon naman po ay December 6, 2023, isa pong Merkulis. At dalawang araw matapos ang ating fifth founding anniversary na nakita niyo po kanina uh, yung AVD na nagtitay para po ito sa uh, fifth founding anniversary ng National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict. Ang topic naman natin ngayon, araw na ito ay ang NTFL Cox Trusts in the wake of recent developments. Para sa ating preliminaries at sa introduction po ng ating mga panauhin, allow me po to introduce our host. Kilala po natin siya bilang head ng ating NTFL Cox Media Bureau, pati na rin po ng ating Integrated Communications Operations Center na ngayon naman rin po ay isa sa ating mga tagapagsalita dito sa task force. Walang iba, ako, uh, walang iba po kundi si Sir Joel C. Ego. Sir, magandang umaga po. Yes, magandang umaga Angel. Good morning po sa lahat ng ating mga kababayang sumusubaybay sa ating ngayong episode ng Tag Reloaded, The Banking Lies by Telling the Truth. And of course, good morning to our colleagues in the media who are joining us uh, in this Zoom room right now and those who are watching us live via the Pay the NTF LCAP page. Perhaps I should say that uh, this is going to be an exciting valedictory episode of TAG. <laughs> well, we are not seeing the end of uh, the NTF LCAP pressers, no? Because we're we're just adjusting and changing and we're going to make the announcement soon. So ito na po siguro yung huling pagkakataon na i-ere po natin ang TAG Reloaded. But um, expect a um, uh, better uh, presser no, of the National Task Force and Local Communist Armed Conflict um, Media Bureau soon. Abangan po ninyo yan. And, yeah. and uh, this morning, we're going to discuss, um, as mentioned by uh, Angel a while ago, the thrusts, the new <laughs> thrusts no, uh, of the um, task force in the view of uh, recent um positive developments no? in view of all the developments. And of course, uh, we are still celebrating uh, anniversary week of the NTF LCAC. We celebrated our fifth anniversary last Monday. And I'm sure uh, you're excited to know no? the messages given by no less than the chairman of the task force, our, uh, our dear president, uh, Ferdinand uh, Bongbong uh, Marcos Jr. And his representative, ang ate pong special assistant uh, to the president, uh, that day, si uh, Secretary Lagdameo po. And since it is uh, still, uh, we are still in the, um, uh, well, anniversary mood pa po tayo, isa po sa ating guest ngayon ay uh, no less than the Executive Director of um, the NTF LCAP, no? Uh, and I'm um, talking of Undersecretary Ernesto June Torres Jr. And um uh Yusek Torres will uh talk about no these um uh well the 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 um, meat of the messages of the president and our special assistant to the president and with uh, Yusek Torres is the chair of the strategic communications cluster of NTF LCAC and he is also concurrently the assistant uh, director general of uh, the National Security Council Ito po ang ating uh, kapatid, brother, and uh, napakatagal na pong kasama sa laban na ito. No? Kasama po kayo. <laughs> Wala pong iba kundi si um, ADG Jonathan Malaya. So with no further ado, I'd like to uh, remind lang our our friends no, that you will be entitled to a question and a follow-up during the open forum immediately uh, proceeding no, after ADG Malaya. Uh, had spoken later on. So, at this juncture, I'd like to introduce to you, to bring to you the Executive Director of the NTF LCAC Undersecretary Ernesto C. Torres Jr. Good morning, sir. Magandang umaga, Joel, at uh, magandang umaga rin kay uh, ADG John Malaya, kay Angel, at sa lahat ng mga kasama natin ngayon dito sa Tag Reloaded. So, unang-una, I would like to thank uh, everybody for joining us uh, in celebrating the fifth year uh, founding anniversary of NTF LCAP. No? If you remember, uh, na-established ang NTF LCAP noong December 4 of 2018. So it's been five years already. 
So last uh, Monday, uh, we uh, celebrated uh, the fifth anniversary by, of course, uh, uh, recalling the mga accomplishments natin and uh, giving uh, honor, no, and uh, recognizing the mga partners natin from the different sectors who have contributed a lot in our counterinsurgency campaign. So we have already, uh, as you might, uh, as you would, uh, of course, uh, attest, no? uh, we have gained a lot already in our campaign in defeating insurgency in uh, the whole of our country. Uh, we have reduced significantly the capability of the CPP, NPA, and DF in all fronts, actually, political, organization, and even in their propaganda. No, medyo konti na lang abot kami na nga natin yung ating mini meeting uh, tagumpay at uh, kapayapaan and it is to the credit of course of uh, all our uh, member agencies stakeholders and partners no supporting the whole of government approach and whole of nation participation so yun po yung uh, uh, significance actually ng uh, ating uh, celebration last monday and it was made more significant with the presence of uh, a lot of uh, our uh, cabinet secretaries no and uh, doon uh, friends from the business sector uh and even you know, uh, our representatives from the uh, 17 uh, joint regional task forces were there also to celebrate with us and uh, more importantly it was graced uh, uh by the presence of a representative from our president himself, no, and nadudon po si uh, uh, Sap uh, uh, Anton Lagdameo to deliver the message of our president. So, muli, uh, maraming salamat po. Uh, at of course, uh, alam naman natin, even if we have celebrated uh, last Monday our accomplishments, there is a lot more that uh, we should do. Uh, there, there are more, more challenges ahead, ika nga, no? Uh, the more difficult part in our campaign actually is not uh, just in uh, uh, getting rid of the armed component of the CPP, NPA, and DF, but uh, more importantly, we need really to uh, uh, to provide and to sustain, uh, to provide the uh, basic uh, needs of our uh, commu the communities uh, in far-flung areas, in geographically isolated and uh, uh, disadvantaged areas, and uh, to sustain our peace gains and uh, you know, to uh, to deliver yung inclusive uh, development natin. So if I may just, ano, uh, Joel, ano, uh, just to start uh, the discussion going and to uh, uh, just deliver a message in relation to our anniversary last last Monday. So may I just uh, uh, read to you this uh, message, which yes, is... Yes, uh, go ahead, boss. Which is actually written at the back of the... Uh, coffee table book that we uh that we prepared for our stakeholders uh, ready for distribution in the coming days no so nakalagay dito the first 5 years of implementation of EO70 saw an increasing number of local government units and regions achieving stable peace and security more and more people institutions and the organizations getting united in words and deeds to denounce the violence and counter the propaganda of the CTG and more and more remote, geographically isolated and conflict-affected areas are able to sow and reap the fruits of development. But peace and its dimensions, security, unity, and development are not static. Peace is dynamic and as such transformative. As conditions and context of peace building change over time, the mechanisms to operationalize the whole of nation approach must also evolve and be fine-tuned to remain relevant and effective. New issues, challenges, and threats that inevitably emerge should be viewed as opportunities for improvement and growth. As conditions differ across communities, the approach should also be contextualized, building on the positive values, culture, strengths and innate capacities for peace of each in every community so yun po yung ating uh, uh, 
uh, final message dito sa ating uh, uh, coffee table book that we handed over to the uh, president. So uh, the the message of uh, uh, contained in this coffee table book says that uh, the NTF LCAC uh, is uh, remains committed, you know, to its mandate in harmonizing, synchronizing the whole of government approach, whole of nation participation in resolving the root causes of uh, insurgency. And we will remain committed to that, uh, Director Joel. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much uh, for uh, that report, Under Secretary June Torres, the Executive Director of the NTF LCAC. I'm sure I can feel because I'm a journalist too. Na excited na itong mga kasama na magtanong, especially about uh, the amnesty proclamations issued by the president and itong uh, joint communiques um, uh, Oslo. And uh, those questions will be answered later on. So at this point, I'd like to introduce to you naman mga kababayan, mga kapatid sa hanap buhay, ang ating pong susunod na tagapagpresenta o tagapagsalita. And he will talk about new guidance from uh, the National Security Advisor himself, si uh, Sec Secretary Eduardo Año. Uh, at uh, ang kanya pong uh, mensahe ay uh, ipaparating sa atin and will be expounded on by no less than my partner, Assistant Director General of the NSC, Jonathan Malaya. Go ahead, partner. Thank you, Partner Joel uh, of the uh, NTF LCAC um, Strategic Communications Cluster and ICOC as well, Media Bureau. And of course, to our idol boss, uh, Undersecretary Ernesto June Torres. And may I just uh, relay to him the congratulations of uh, many people on the very successful event we had last Monday, where we celebrated the fifth anniversary of the National Task Force LCA. Congratulations, sir, for a very well organized activity. Uh, nagpaparinig na po si Joel. Baka pahingi na kopya ng coffee table book. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. Signed, ha? Huh? <laughs> yes, sir. So, um, I'd like to relay the uh, the guidance of the National Security Advisor in his capacity as uh, Vice Chair of the National Task Force LCA on uh, many aspects. In particular, the uh, joint uh, communique in Oslo with the National Democratic Front. I'd like to begin by saying that the thrust from the beginning of President Bongbong Marcos Jr. and his administration has always been consistent in calling for national reconciliation and unity. Therefore, the president is open to all solutions that will bring resolution to internal strife and end the local communist armed conflict. From the very beginning, the Marcos administration has exhausted all avenues to achieve peace, national reconciliation, and unity. And these avenues include localized peace engagement, as has been shown to be very successful, the grant of amnesty, which was just uh, uh, declared to a proclamation uh, recently, and now even exploratory talks to end the armed struggle, which, according to the joint communique, will pave the way for the transformation of the CPP, NPA, NDF. So I'd like to emphasize here the fact that the Oslo communique came about because of the promise or the commitment of the National Democratic Front, the political arm of the CPP, NPA, to end the armed struggle. So given that we need to unite as a country to resolve the serious uh, challenges we face, the National Security Advisor, and by extension, the National Task Force ELCA, shall support and work towards realizing an agreement between the GRP and the CPP, NPA, and DF that brings about a principled and peaceful resolution to the armed conflict and a complete end to the communist armed struggle, as was committed by the National Democratic Front. Now, in this context, it is important that we highlight what was exactly agreed upon in Oslo. And what was agreed is an exploratory talk to explore a resolution of the armed conflict and to end the armed struggle, as both the GRP and the NDF uh, 
recognize the need for a united country to address the serious socioeconomic and external threats and challenges we are facing as a nation. Therefore, we wish to emphasize that what is happening in Oslo as part of the joint community is an exploratory discussion to come together to develop a possible framework that will set the parameters towards a possible final peace settlement with the CPP, NPA, and DF. These exploratory discussions means that it is not a resumption, it is not a revival, or it is not a continuation of the failed peace talks in previous administrations. What is to be developed in the exploratory talks are a new set of parameters that hopefully will lead to a final peace settlement with the CPP, NPA, NDF. As mentioned by Secretary Charlie Galvez and many others in the past, there were no preconditions agreed upon by both parties to begin this exploratory talks. Therefore, there is no commitment on the part of the uh, government of the Philippines to a suspension of military operations, to a ceasefire, to the release of CPP, NPA, NDF prisoners, or even the lifting of the terrorist designation. It was mentioned by um, the spokesperson of the CPP, NPA, NDF, Marco Valbuena, and even by uh, uh, Juliet, uh, Julie De Lima, you know, the uh, interim chair of the NDF negotiating panel, that what is necessary is for the ceasefire, the release of the uh, MPA, NDF, CPP, NPA, and the prisoners, or even lifting of the terrorist designation. All of these demands from the CPP, NPA, and DF are premature. For example, the lifting of the terrorist designation, in our opinion, undergoes a process under the Anti-Terrorism Act and should be the result of a final peace agreement. Therefore, if a final peace agreement comes into force and is signed between both parties, the natural consequence of that is the um, lifting of the terrorist designation and the amnesty to be granted to former rebels who have now decided to rejoin uh, mainstream society. Therefore, since uh, there is no recommendation of a ceasefire or um, suspension of military operations, the armed forces of the Philippines will continue to defeat all armed threats, including the NPA. They will continue to sustain its operational tempo to further weaken the NPA's capacity to solve violence in the last remaining influence communities in our country. As mentioned by Undersecretary June Torres, the NTF LCAC's work will continue unabated. It will continue with its current activities, sustain the goals it has achieved for the past five years, work seriously to continue its peace and development efforts in conflict-affected areas. The NTF LCAC will continue the localized peace engagements to expand the civic sphere, even if the exploratory talks uh, are uh, ongoing. Therefore, as guided by the National Security Advisor, the NTF LCAC will work for the closure of the communist armed struggle through any means, be it localized peace engagement, through amnesty, through exploratory talks with the uh, National Democratic Front, through focused military operations, through uh, the Barangay Development Program and many other programs to bring about change and development in conflict-affected areas. We work for this, bearing in mind that the rebels are still Filipinos entitled to amnesty should they surrender and abandon the armed struggle. And we hope that they will rejoin mainstream society and become, once again, productive citizens of the country. Maraming pong salamat to uh, ICOC uh, for your kind invitation at mabuhay and happy anniversary to NTF LCA. All right. <clears throat> mabuhay and uh, congratulations to ADG Jonathan Malaya, the chair of the Stratcom cluster of NTF LCA. And um, I'd like to um, 
uh, announced that we're going to release a uh, well the uh, press release from uh, ADG Malaya and of course Secretary Anyo uh, during the this uh, uh, during this briefer. So now we're going to proceed to the um, open forum, the question and answer portion of uh, this tagged episode. And we are now, Angel, opening the floor for um, questions from our media guests. Yes, sir. Um, from my end, I don't have any questions uh, being asked. Maybe from your sir. Uh, so far, uh, ito. Uh, okay, from um, Paige Javier of CNN Philippines, um, can we get uh, a reaction from ADG Malaya or you, Sectores? Ayan, on VP Sara Duterte saying the granting of amnesty and assumption of peace talks is an agreement <laughs> with the devil. So, sirs, uh, who'd like to uh, fire the first shot? Okay, if I may, uh, Yusek June Torres, uh, start the discussion and maybe I can also turn over to you um, on your points of view. No, um, We understand, of course, the uh, apprehension or understandable skepticism of the vice president no, uh, in uh, the exploratory talks that are being done by government with the National, uh, National Democratic Front. But we also appreciate that the vice president's skepticism is not in the peace efforts. No? If you read and see and uh, look closely at what she said, she is for peace and development. So her skepticism is primarily based not on government's desire for peace, but in the sincerity and credibility of the communist, uh, task, uh, communist terrorist groups. So if we look at it, you no. Know, her position is essentially the same as that of government, no, uh, as uh, that of the National Task Force, ELCA. We want a principled and peaceful resolution to the armed conflict and a complete end to the armed struggle. Therefore, um, given what the Vice President has mentioned, it is now a challenge to the CPP, NPA, and DF to show sincerity on the part, on their part, because that has always been the um problem in the past you no know, there has been six or seven peace talks with them that uh, came to naught primarily because of the lack of sincerity so the um so the uh, success of whatever comes out of these exploratory talks with the CPP and PA will really depend upon the sincerity and credibility of the CPP and PA and DF and we hope for the success of this, that they show that sincerity and credibility as uh, requested by the Vice President. On the matter of the amnesty, uh, may I turn over to you, Sec. Uh, Jun Torres. Thank you, uh, uh, ADG Malaya. Uh, first, we have to understand that uh, our Vice President, uh, Honorable uh, Sara Duterte, is also the uh, co-vice chairperson of the uh, NTF LCAP together with the NSA. So she really plays a big role uh, in our counterinsurgency campaign and in, in the implementation of our uh, programs in attaining lasting peace. Uh, and uh, alam naman natin, uh, in, it was mentioned earlier that the joint uh, OSDOC communique is still a an exploratory uh, uh, agreement right so uh, being an exploratory agreement uh, secretary charlie uh, galvez also mentioned that uh, uh, the uh, way ahead is to encourage uh, national debate more discussions on uh, on the uh, uh, possibility of peace talks diba so yung yung appeal ni uh, vice president uh, that was a uh, uh that was aired uh, during the uh, NTF LCAP anniversary and also distributed to some media uh, uh units uh, could feed into that uh, debate so that we can come up with the uh, the best uh, design of a program for our uh, for our peace efforts so ganun lang siguro yon uh, and the uh, yung purpose naman noon 
uh, since sabi niya nga it is an appeal to our president ano uh, we may differ really on how we uh, uh, see things at the moment but yung objective natin ay pare-pareho naman ano and that is to end the uh, uh, to finally uh, in this particular case ano uh, to finally end the local communist uh, armed conflict do naman po sa amnesty uh, uh, proclamation 404 it was uh, concurred in by uh, Congress uh, yesterday, hindi ba? as reported. I was also uh, there during the uh, uh, House uh, Commitment uh, Resolution hearing. Uh, House concurrent uh, uh, hearing yesterday for the three proclamations referring to proclama proclamation, amnesty proclamation 403, 404, 405, 406. And uh, in that uh, meeting, I represented the National Security Advisor and uh, on his beh behalf, uh, we made our commitment also to support the uh, the four proclamations, particularly Proclamation Number 404. And uh, we understand that uh, yung IRR naman yan would still be crafted. And we, again, uh, in relation to the statement of VP Sara, na tinatanong ng ating uh, reporter, si Ms. Paige Javier, uh, of course, uh, her statement, her opinion and ideas would uh, be considered as we uh, craft the uh, implementing rules and regulation for this particular amnesty proclamation, Proclamation 404. So lahat po yung mga nangyayari ngayon is part of a uh, uh, broad consultation, consultation, all for the purpose of, you know, uh, uh, getting all possible uh, ideas, concepts, suggestions, recommendations so that we can uh, uh, design a program, yung amnesty, uh, pro amnesty program natin, pati na rin yung possibility ng final peace agreement with the CPP and PA the best way possible. So yun lang, uh, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, ADG Jonathan Malaya, and of course, uh, Under Secretary June Torres. Uh, Miss Page, if you have a follow up question, uh, please don't hesitate to um, tell us. No, but um, uh, at this point, we have a second question from uh, Mr. Jing Villamente, a uh, uh, texting question. No, is from the Daily Tribune. So, may pahaging daw kasi ang uh, CPP na may mga condition silang sinasabi na including ito sigurong ceasefire but uh, there was an earlier um statement no claim from uh, uh LCAC officials particularly CAP chief of staff general Bronner na paubos na in fact uh, wala na daw uh, sirs na active guerrilla fronts and by the end of the year we're seeing the dismantling of five weekend uh, guerrilla fronts and um, para ang numero ng mga weekend guerrilla front ay 15 na lang. So your take on that uh, matter daw po. Uh, yes, Yusek June? Uh, yes, no, tama yung ano, yung, yung, uh, yung we agree with the uh, uh, report of the Chief of Staff that uh, we have significantly degraded the capability of the CPP, NPA, and DF uh, already. Uh, but uh, yun nga, as we proceed in these uh, peace efforts referring to the amnesty and the possibility of having a final peace agreement, we have to be very, very careful then and learn from our historical mistakes in dealing with them. As mentioned by ADG Malaya, uh, nagkaroon na tayo ng, from since 1992, no, we had uh, four, four rounds of talks already with five dif different uh, uh, GRP peace panels composition. Uh, ang kausap po nila are the same persons uh, minus Joma. So the mm -hmm. same people ang uh, kinakausap ng panel din natin ngayon. So we have to uh, we have to be very also. And uh, again, I know, I learn from our historical mistakes in the past because uh, a day after nung ano nung uh, nung uh, when the uh, joint Oslo communique was you know, was uh, was uh, published di ba a day after that naglabas din a statement si uh, uh, Miss uh, Juliet De Lima and Marco Bolbuena uh, seemingly asking 
as uh, as with the uh, past uh, uh, peace negotiations to include yung uh, si you know, secretary uh, secretary si Ms. Julieta de Lima made mention about the uh, uh, social socio economic reforms political uh, uh, and the constitutional reform referring uh, probably alluding to CASER and CAPCR na yung previous uh, panel natin ay hindi uh, hindi nag-concur. Pero yung po kasi yung mga that's why siguro uh, yung ating mga kababayan are are uh, raising some uh, uh, doubts on, on this uh, peace and uh, uh, peace possibility of uh, another round of peace talks uh, dahil sa mga experiences na natin na uh, in the past tapos yung pro, yung kay Marco Balbuena uh, yung spokesperson ng uh, ng uh, CPP NPA pati yung withdrawal ng mga military sa mga communities uh, in some uh, communities in our country uh, they're calling for yung withdrawal noon tapos uh, release of uh, uh, some alleged political prisoners and consultants. So these are the same things that were uh, demanded to previous uh, panels natin, which alam naman natin wala pong uh, uh, nangyari. So uh, kinakailangan, we have to move uh, 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 forward in this peace uh, process or peace effort uh, with, with much caution. And we have to bear in mind also na tayo naman po dito sa gobyerno, particularly uh, under ng uh, NTF LCAP, we did not stop talking peace uh, with them. No? Nag-iba lang ang itsura, nagkaroon ng local peace engagement. Uh, hindi po tayo nag-waver sa effort natin in, a, in a negotiating peace in the different communities all over the country. Yun lang, ang itsura lang niya, local peace engagement, we're in the communities, the local government uh, units, local chief executives are the ones reaching out to the uh, uh, CTG uh, uh, rebels who are still out there. No? So mabilis po yung nagiging proseso natin dito and it is working very well at the moment. So we just hope uh, we are still optimistic that with this uh, uh, new uh, peace uh, efforts that are be, that were, uh, that is being done, I uh, would contribute uh, in strengthening uh, all the peace mechanisms that uh, uh, we are now implementing under, under the NTF LCAP. All right. Thank you, uh, Undersecretary Torres. Uh, before I read uh, the second question from uh, Victor Reyes of Malaya, perhaps ADG Malaya has uh, something to add. Yes. I just have to know. Let me just concur uh, with what Yusek Jun Torres said. Definitely, we need to... Um, enter into this exploratory talks with caution. And I think that is the reason why there were no preconditions agreed to uh, by government when the Oslo Joint Communique was signed. So um, all of these demands coming from the CPP, NPA, NDF, as mentioned by uh, the uh, mysterious Marco Valbuena, uh, yeah, whoever that person may be representing the CPP, and even uh, some of the statements coming from Utrecht are all premature. No? But I think we need to emphasize that there is a commitment on the part of the NDF to end the armed struggle. Because if you look at the joint communique uh, very closely, it talked about the transformation of the CPP, NPA, NDF. Meaning there is this uh, promise to transform the CPP, NPA, NDF into a political party perhaps that can become part of mainstream society and will no longer be an underground organization. And this is precisely why uh, government uh, under this administration has decided to take that chance. Because even if there are uh, 15 weekend guerrilla fronts as of now, may mga tropa pa rin yan, no? And as of last count, uh, more than 1,400 pa rin silang armado. Therefore, if government can spare one life, no? Uh, in this pursuit for peace, why don't we do that? No, and that is precisely what uh, the government has undertaken. Malaymo, this may lead to a final peace settlement and reduce uh, casualties on both government and uh, the not new people's army. If we can spare one life, why not uh, explore uh, these possibilities? That is why meron po tayo exploratory talks. 
which will only succeed again if I may emphasize if the CPP and PNPF show sincerity and credibility. All right, thank you very much. Keywords, sincerity talaga. Okay, so <clears throat> thank you again, um, ADG Jonathan Malaya. So uh, at this point, I'd like to acknowledge man, this question from uh, my friend, Victor Reyes of Malaya. Uh, he's from the Defense Press Corps. Ito po yung tanong. Uh, do you consider VP Sara an ally of the ntfl -CAC despite her different stance? How will this affect our strategy in ending insurgency? Yusek Jun? Uh, thank you, uh, Director uh, Joel. And uh, thank you for that question, uh, Victor Reyes of uh, Malaya. BP Sara is not only an ally of NTFL CAP. He is the vice chairperson of the uh, NTFL CAP and the second highest official of our land. No? Uh, uh, yung ano naman, uh, yung question mo kanina, if uh, he... Uh, could you, could you repeat that again? Uh, direct, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, the entire question, do you consider VP Sara an ally of the NTFL CAC despite her different stance? And okay. how will this affect oh, right, our okay. strategy in ending insurgency? Okay, just like what I mentioned a while ago, uh, Director Joel, our leaders and even uh, observers may differ in their views regarding this amnesty and the uh, possibility of the peace process. Ano? Uh, but uh, of course... Uh, Meron naman tayong body to uh, to synthesize all of these things and uh, uh isa naman yung objective natin uh, to finally end the uh, uh, local communist armed conflict in our country. So definitely uh yung pong ano yung pong magiging epekto nito is on the crafting of uh, uh the IRR for the amnesty and how to uh, uh move forward our peace uh, efforts no uh, as a result of the uh, joint Oslo communique. So Pero yung mga trabaho po, yung mandate ng uh, NTFL CAC will remain to be uh, the same. It will continue on. Yung efforts po natin uh, in uh, resolving the root causes of uh, insurgency uh, will remain. Uh, and that is uh, uh, resolving yung mga problema natin on, uh, on poverty, uh, problema on uh, education, on health, and other uh, basic services that... Uh, has to be brought sa mga conflict-affected areas. So patuloy yun, pati na yung mga local peace engagement natin and other transformation na uh, 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 programs natin for the uh, former rebels na, hang, uh, na up to now, uh, mga 39,000 na rin yung ating uh, uh, rebels that benefited from the existing program that uh, uh, we are implementing now. So tuloy-tuloy lang, uh, it, uh, we expect that the... the uh, the uh, opinion of our vice president, uh, the uh, co-vice chair of NTFL CAC, would be seriously uh, considered you know, uh, in the discussions in crafting the uh, IRR and the uh, uh, and the uh, discussions also then po sa natin sa uh, peace efforts natin uh, as we move forward and uh, uh, find ways to finally uh, uh, end. Uh, armed conflict in our country. Okay, thank you, Yusek Jun. How about you? What's your take on uh, that same issue, uh, ADG Malaya? Thanks, partner. Um, yes, definitely. Uh, Vice President Sara is an ally. Uh, there are just differences of opinion, but as mentioned by Yusek uh, Jun Torres, uh, she is vice chairman of the NTFL CAC, and the NTFL CAC's main purpose was to end local communist armed conflict. And the objective of the vice president has always been the same. The same with the president, the vice president. Both of them want to end the local communist armed conflict. So, in so far as that objective is concerned, yes, the vice president is an ally, and we and will continue to do so. <laughs> okay. Uh, very well said. Thank you very much, uh, Assistant Director General Jonathan Malaya, for that uh, answer. Angel, do you have, uh, well, uh, from your end, the questions from our colleagues? Um, none from my end, sir. Uh, yun lang po yung natatanggap natin na mga katanungan po. Ah, all right. Okay. So we'll give, uh, uh, siguro lang a few seconds uh, for our uh, media friends no, to uh, 
to ask to be recognized if they're going to ask questions pa more. If not, we're going to proceed to the last messages from our guests. So, mga, kay- mga kapatid, going once, <laughs> going twice, <laughs> going thrice. Uh, okay, so perhaps nadinig naman ng lahat yung mga gustong madinig ng ating mga kababayan, mga kapatid natin sa media. No? So, I think at this juncture, uh, we'll proceed to the um well the giving of uh, the final statements from our guests unahin na natin siguro of course anniversary naman ngayon anniversary week ng LCAC unahin na natin yung big boss ng NTF LCAC <laughs> yes June Torres for your um, final message to the people thank you uh, once again uh, director Joel so ano lang uh, i just want uh, the uh, public to know that uh, the NTF LCAC uh, supports any in all peace efforts we uh, we also welcome any opinion any idea any concept that would further strengthen the mechanisms of the NTF LCAC no? in all its 12 clusters so we all we have a united purpose uh, in this uh, in our counterinsurgency program and that is to finally end the local the more than 50 years of uh, local communist armed conflict in our country so that uh, we would uh, help in ushering uh, uh, to lasting peace and uh, inclusive and sustainable development. But uh, again, uh, we really need to uh, learn from our historical historical mistakes in dealing with the CPP and PANDF, particularly yung kanila pong mga negotiators. We cannot just, uh, you know, uh, uh, we cannot just relax, ano? And... Uh, and uh, proceed without uh, without really considering uh, our experiences with them. But if I may just repeat, just to emphasize, no, uh, five uh, uh, five uh, government of the Philippines panel were already uh, uh, dealing with these same people from uh, from the start. The first peace talks yata natin is in 1990, 1992 pa, and there were forty uh, uh, peace talks that were. Uh, conducted already since then and the uh, yung pong uh, naging problema natin if i may just uh, uh, mention some of them para po talagang babantayan natin as we move forward in our peace negotiation with them uh, kasama po diyan uh, yung uh, paulit-ulit na violation sa mga ano sa mga well they were committing atrocities while the negotiation uh, the negotiations were going on in the past ano tapos when they uh, asked for for uh, the release of uh, their peace consultants and alleged political prisoners nung pong na terminate yung uh, yung peace talks uh, ang nangyayari hindi naman po bumabalik sa kulungan yung mga tao na yon uh, they were uh, what they did in the past again i know what they did was to uh, reorganize and uh, uh, mobilize again their uh, mass bases and uh, you know wala naman pa, pa, wala walang kinahantungan yung mga peace talks no uh, in fact lumakas pa sila after after all of those so yung pong uh, uh, mga programa uh, mga substantive agenda nila i'm referring to CASER and uh, CAPCR uh, these are we really have to seriously look into this when we sit down with them uh, para at least hindi naman po matali yung ating mga uh, particularly security forces and other other ano other partners natin in this campaign para hindi naman po matali yung kamay uh, nila in uh, uh, in their efforts to bring peace and development in their uh, part, in their respective areas so uh ilan po ilan po uh, Malapit na po natin na talagang maabot yung ating mini-meeting kapayapaan, kaligtasan at uh, kaularan. We just have to sustain our peace gains. no? We just have to do uh, the right things. Dito po sa NTF LCAC, makakaasa kayo that we remain committed in performing our mandate uh, because we believe and we have felt no? uh, the uh, the effectiveness of these uh, uh, mechanisms that was established five years ago. We were able to do the almost impossible in uh, defeating in our quest to defeat uh, insurgency in our country. 
malapit na malapit na po natin abutin ito. Sana po ay hindi natin uh, mapabayaan. Uh, sana po ay mapa-strengthen pa natin maigi yung ating mga programa and peace efforts para sa gayon ay talaga makamit na natin yung ating uh, minimithing uh, uh, lasting peace and sustainable development. At makakaasa po kayo na lahat po tayo dito sa gobyerno, iisa po yung ating pakaya, no? magkaroon ng uh, pangmatagal ng kapayapaan sa ating bansa. So we remain committed and we expect and we view with optimism na magkaroon ng sincerity po yung mga kausap natin sa CPP, NPA, NDF o yung kanilang mga uh, negotiators. Maraming salamat po sa binigay niyong pagkakataon. Okay, maraming po salamat uh, Undersecretary June Torres uh, sa inyong uh, wal well, napakagandang pahayag uh, bilang unang valediktorya ng TAG. <laughs> Tal- Meron pa po tayong isang valediktoryan na ko valediktorian at uh, pakinggan po natin ang uh, pahayag po uh, ni ADG Jonathan Malaya. Uh, thank you uh, partner and thank you to IPOC for your kind invitation for me to um, attend and uh, join this uh, last press con of TAG kasi sa susunod natin press con iba na na magkakaroon ng uh, rebranding kumbaga ang ating at uh, press uh, pressers no so thank you to uh, Angel and to everyone and of course to you Sekjun Torres my co-panelist for today's press conference uh, again happy anniversary to NTF Elcac um, it has been an honor for me to be have been part of NTF Elcac from its very beginning I was there when the NTF Elcac was uh, created uh, way back in uh, 2018 and gusto ko lang pong sabihin kasi Noong uh, kumalat yung issue ng peace talks, ang daming nagtatanong at ang daming kumakalat na balita na mabubuwag na daw ang National Task Force LK. Gusto ko lang pong sabihin na manigas kayo. <laughs> Hindi po mabubuwag ang National Task Force LK. There is no possibility on earth that the National Task Force LK will be abolished. No? Uh, kasi ang sinasabi nila, nung nag-collapse yung, yung peace talks na buo ang uh, NTF LCAC, ngayon na may peace talks na naman baka mabuwag ulit. Sabi ko hindi. Uh, sorry, nung, na, nung nabuwag, nabuo. No? So um, there is no possibility of that. No? Uh, kaming dalawa ni uh, uh, Yusek June Torres together with Director Joel Egko of ICOC, uh, we will see this uh, work through hanggap matapos ang uh, uh, local communist and conflict under this administration. And until we are able to implement the peace and the reconciliation roadmap of NTF LCAC, which you, Secretary Torres, inaugurated under his leadership. Na mag, ng NTF LCAC will transform into a peace and development agency after the defeat of the armed conflict. Yun lamang po at uh, maraming salamat. Okay, thank you very much, partner. Uh, ADG Jonathan Malaya, the chair of the Stratcom cluster of NTF LCAC. And of course, ADG, Assistant Director General of uh, the National Security Council. And thank you once again, Yusek Jun Torres. But before that, before we end, siguro, bigay natin ang karangalan sa cum laude, suma cum laude, at manya cum laude ng tag reloaded. Tag <laughs> 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 panuunan, ikaw na. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> Kinuha na lahat. Uh, please, uh, I have the honor of uh, signing off. On air, tag reloaded. Sige, go ahead. <laughs> Maraming salamat po, Sir Joel Siego. Nga, nga naman, ano, naging parte po tayo ng Tag Reloaded. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagpapanood ng ating huling episode ng Tag Reloaded. Maraming salamat po sa ating mga panauwi na si Yusek Ernesto Torres Jr., Executive Director ng NTFL CAC Secretariat at ADD Jonathan Malaya. Ulit po, Assistant Director General ng National Security Council at Chair ng NTFL CAC Stratcom Cluster. Uling paalala po, bago tayo magtapos, hango po sa mga mensahe ng ating mga panauhin, nais nice nating iparating ang isang malakas na panawagan para sa pagkakaisa, kapayapaan at kaunaran. Batid natin na may mga pagkaiba-ibang pananaw patungong kapayapaan, ngunit sa likas na pagmamahal natin sa ating bayan, makakamtan natin ang layuning wakasan, ang lokal na laban ng mga armadong komunista. Muli, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagiging bahagi ng araw na ito at pagiging parte ng tag ngayong mga ngayon mga, uh, at mga araw, buwan, taong nakalipas. Ngunit huwag kayong mag-alala, ipagpapatuloy natin ang maayos at bukas na talakayan 
ukol sa ating mga hangarin sa NTFL Cup. Tiwala kami makakamtan natin ang adhi- adhikain ng kapayapaan, pagkakaisa at kaunaran. Ako po muli ay si Angela Bellia ng NTFL Cup Media Bureau. In behalf na rin po sa ating co-host at uh, Magna Hum Laude po na, ng Tag Ray Laude na si Director Joel C. Echo, makiisa po tayong lahat tungo sa isang mapayapa at maunlad na bagong Pilipinas. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat.